Welcome. Hi, I'm Ida Ray, Certified Divorce Lending Professional, and this interview is part of the Divorce Literacy Series through the Divorce Lending Association. We're really excited about this unique project because um, we, we are uh, interviewing local family law professionals to bring information and insight to benefit families who are going through divorce, maybe just starting or post-divorce. And so we're really excited about being able to bring some information to help them make decisions. And today I have with me, Carrie Jacobson. Welcome, Carrie. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. So would you kindly provide us with a little bit of information about your background and what you do? Sure. I am a family law attorney and I have been practicing for 13 years. I have my own practice and we are located in Maryland. And we service couples and individuals who are in the divorce process, but our focus truly is on keeping them out of court and keeping the drama out of divorce. Oh, excellent. So how, how do you do that? Like what is there, a, can you tell us what the options are and is there one that you focus on more than another? Sure. So there are multiple options um, as far as how families or couples can go through this process. And the first is for them to simply work with an attorney, one of them to work with an attorney, um, and to draft a separation agreement. Sometimes that is negotiating with the other individual's attorney, and sometimes it's just the parties kind of negotiating on their own and having, you know, counsel to give them advice. A second option is for them to participate in mediation, and that's where we act as a neutral third party and help facilitate the conversation between the couple and truly guide them through the process on all issues that need to be resolved and addressed within their separation agreement. The third that is most common um, as far as process options is something called collaborative divorce, which I know you are very familiar with. And that is a practice where there are multiple professionals helping the couple in a team approach in trying to resolve their differences outside of court. Of the three, um, we primarily focus on mediation and settlement negotiation. However, we we offer all three services to clients. Okay, so why do you think, and uh, I was just trying to get a little more insight there as far as mediation goes, why do you, do you think you do more of that versus anything else? I think honestly, many times it's because individuals and couples do not necessarily want attorneys involved. Um, mm -hmm. They've heard the horror stories from their friends, their families, TV, about how complicated divorce can be, how contentious it can be, the expense and the time it can take, right? And so for that reason, I think many people want to try to do something that is shorter, more amicable, and less expensive. And mediation really fits that for all of you know, all three of those scenarios. And it's really a chance for them to have a conversation about how they want to address these issues going forward. And so many of our clients want to have that, you know, healthy co-parenting relationship after their separation and divorce. And mediation is a great segue into that. Perfect. Perfect. Um, if you we're going to give some advice to maybe a family friend or you know a friend and you wanted to kind of give them a heads up on something well how what would you tell them before they went into any process a couple of things one is if they're not already working with a therapist to either work with an individual therapist or a divorce coach um, really having a place to address the emotional aspect of the divorce is critical. Um, the second thing I would say is to gather as much documentation as you can so that you have it ready, because no matter which process you end up in, you're going to need the same information and documentation, you know, whether it's your bank account statements, retirement statements, tax returns, income information, how the cars are titled, how the house is titled, like all of those things are important. And so gathering that documentation at the outset is it critical. 
And then third would be to, you know, kind of talk with your spouse if that's possible and truly decide how, you know, what your goals are for the process um, and what you want to focus on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so when you're a mediator, you're not really acting as an attorney per se. You are acting as what is, you know, like neutral in a neutral position. Correct. Yes. And how, yeah. Can you kind of like go a little deeper into that? Like, what does that mean? Sure. So really it means that we can't provide either person legal advice. So we can give legal information, like how child support's calculated, right? Mm -hmm. um, and that sort of thing, but we can't answer the question, is this a good deal for me? Is this in my best interest? That sort of thing. Um, that's really the, the legal hat. Where we see the role of the mediator is to give the couple options. This is the first time most of these people are going through this process, mm -hmm. whereas we've seen it hundreds of times, thousands of times, right? And so over the course of that experience, we've seen how other families may have structured things. So child support, as an example, you know, there's lots of different ways that that can be accomplished. It can be a direct payment, or they can simply maintain a joint account and both put money into it and then use the, those funds to pay kid expenses. So it's giving them options that they may not have otherwise thought about so they can decide what's going to work best for their family. Okay. Um, so, uh, what you know, understanding that things are confidential, is there anything you can share uh, with us, something about a case that was most memorable? Or, I mean, you've been practicing for a while, you probably have a few, but any particular moments or things that you want to share with uh, with us? I would say that the the great thing about our work is that we see clients in my in my opinion at their best. And so many of what what's very heartwarming is that so many of the clients that we're working with um especially on the mediation side because that's where I focus mostly um the parties going over and beyond what they may quote unquote legally be obligated for, to do simply because they still care about this person, even though they're not going to continue to be in a relationship with them. And so I have seen scenarios where a spouse has offered to pay more alimony or has offered to pay more child support or has allowed, you know, they've agreed to extend how long someone's going to stay in the house um, simply because it's what's best for the family. Mm -hmm. And right. it's really when they are looking at what's best for the family and the kids that is so amazing about the process. That's great. That's great. Um, have you ever had uh, a couple that comes in maybe, a, you know, kind of a little distant, but by the end of the process, because you've able to been able to talk things through ends up a little more um, talking better and things seem to have improved. Does that happen often? It does happen. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, in addition to our private mediation work, we also do mediation with um, that are court ordered to us, you know, where there might mm -hmm. be a custody dispute. And typically those are the, the more challenging cases, but, yeah. you know, and sometimes it's simply that one person thought that they had to go the court route. Right. And as if I can get them over the, the mud throwing that has happened in the pleadings, you know, and, mm -hmm. you know, get them past that part and show them we're not talking about what happened before. We're going to look at what is the situation now and what do you want the future to look like and have them really be future focused and kid focused that often will will do the trick. That's excellent. That's that's great. Well, I wanted to thank you for sharing your valuable time with us today. We really appreciate it. And would you kindly give us your website that so that um, the listeners will have a way to contact you? Of course. It is jacobsonfamilylaw.com and it's J-A-C-O-B-S-O-N familylaw.com. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you.